What's up, YouTube? I'm gonna show you today, I have a 2020 Grand Design Transcend Explore 265BH. It is an awesome RV. Bought it over the summer. But unfortunately, I live in North Carolina and it's just about winter time. So I'm gonna show you, I've got it in storage, so I don't have the luxury of keeping it in my house without getting fines from my HOA once a week. So I'm gonna show you how I go through and winterize this specific travel trailer. Um, so step one, I've, I've already done this, so I'm just gonna show you what I did. It was my first time doing it, and I wish somebody would have had a video like this to tell me exactly what to do, so I wasn't so confused. But I kid you not, it probably would take you about 20 minutes to have this thing winterized. So step one, you go into the hot water heater, pull this plug out. It's a 24, let me double check that. 24, you need an extension because they plumb everything so tight that you can't really get up in there. Uh, so anyway, you pull that plug out, you pop your PRV, you pull this towards you, and then a few gallons are gonna come rushing out of that thing. You wanna empty that tank out for sure. I've heard that hot water heaters in these things cost lots and lots of money. Um, and all of this is precursing saying that you have all of your tanks are empty, everything's empty. Even your low point drains, make sure that those are empty too. Um, this RV is it right here. Turn that valve, turn that valve. Let these drain out until there's nothing else coming out. So assuming everything is empty, you've already taken care of this water heater. And then I come over here, take this off. This is your fresh water tank fill. I poured like three gallons in here. Overkill, sure, I'm probably overkilling it, but rather safe than sorry that antifreeze is only a couple dollars a gallon. Um, I'll show you what kind of antifreeze I used as well. I went to my local Walmart. This stuff's like three bucks a gallon. It's a light pink, it does the job. But anyway, after you've put your antifreeze in here, now everything else happens inside. Except I don't have my keys. Here we go. So it's not supposed to get super cold here right now. I think it's uh, it's like mid-December. But for the next couple nights, it's going to get down into the high 20s. I'd rather not worry about what's going to happen to my RV. Um, actually, I'm sorry, guys. I need to go turn the power on. Whenever I store my RV, I always take that battery disconnect off. Just so that next time I go my battery's not bad. It's, it's happened before. Truck up, pain in the ass. All right, so I'm gonna put my battery disconnect back in. Turn that on. Now we've got power. So walking in, get a little light. I'll put my uh, yeah, I'll put my slide out. So I can walk through there. Just enough room to get me to be able to get into the bathroom. If you're wondering why that's open, it's so that it doesn't get all moldy. You always leave your fridge open when you're done camping. So you come to the bottom bunk. You pull this mattress off. Lay it somewhere out of the way. And then underneath here, they actually have winterizing directions. They weren't very helpful. 
But this is why I love this trailer. Well, one of the reasons. I, I trailer shopped for a couple years before I decided on this one. This thing has been awesome. I've camped in everything from 100 degree weather down to 20 degree weather. Never had an issue. All right, anyway. You'll see here, we've got the hot water heater. On this red line, there's a white valve right there in the middle. What you wanna do is just turn that to the off position. The blue one down there, turn that one to the off position. And then this line in between, turn that to the on position. So you're bypassing the hot water heater, which you have just drained. Now back there, is your water pump. So I'm actually gonna climb in here to give you a little better view of everything. I'm like six foot one. I'm a big guy, this is kind of a pain in the ass, but it's not that bad. All right, so there's your water pump. And Grand Design has already been awesome because they installed this. What you do is turn this to the bypass position. And this hose was pre-installed by Grand Design. You pull that plug out, cut the top off your gallon of your antifreeze, see your gallon right here, shove this in the gallon, turn the water pump on, and it sucks all the antifreeze into your water lines. So from there, climb out of here again. Now I used roughly two gallons when doing this. Um, I put two gallons through that hose. So you come over, you turn your water pump on once your hose is in your antifreeze. Come to the sink, throw it into cold, turn it on, wait till the pink comes out, throw it into hot, turn it on, wait till pink comes out. Now you've got antifreeze in your water lines. Come into the bathroom, do the same thing. Cold, hot, wait till it comes out pink. Shower, same thing. Do cold, do hot, wait till it comes out pink. And then your toilet, of course. You wanna go ahead and depress your flush pedal, wait till it comes out pink. And then boom, successful. You now have antifreeze in all of your water lines and you will not have any issues over the winter. Well, at least that's what they tell me. I've, this is my first RV. So really, really very simple. I then take an extra gallon and I dump it down all the drains, even though there's already antifreeze in them because I ran it till it was pink. I just want to be a little more safe. I also put like half a gallon down my, uh, down my toilet just to make sure the black tank had some in there. Um, but yeah, once you dump a little extra down your drains, then the very last thing I did was I came over to these low point drains and I'll just give you a little sneak preview. Boom. I opened both of these up for two seconds until I saw they were pissing out pink antifreeze. Successful. So it was really easy. I was uh, concerned to how long this was gonna take because I had never done it before. And all the videos online, they're not for this specific trailer. Uh, they all talk about having to install some random valves and whatnot. I didn't have to do any of that. I came prepared. I did bring, um, I guess the last thing I'll mention is over here, I did have a, just a little funnel. Shoved a funnel in there so that I could pour the antifreeze in without making a big mess. I'll show you the funnel. This guy right here, I bought it at Walmart, a couple bucks. It's got like an accordion thing on it, so you can turn it any way you want. But other than that, man, it was really a really simple process. I didn't have any issues with it. Went a lot smoother than I was expecting, but not everybody uh, explains it on YouTube or whatever to where it was just kind of foolproof.
But if you have this trailer or probably any Transcend Explorer, I'm sure those are base things that they put in every one of these things. So thanks for watching. Hopefully this helps somebody out. I wish somebody would have made this video for me, but once I figured it out, I figured I had to share it with the world. So thanks for watching. Appreciate you guys. Have a good winter and hopefully keep on camping.